this is a photo I took at uh, a Mayday Market and we're looking at some Morris dancers. The photo is much bigger than this and I cropped it down to these two people because I really like the um, pose of the guy on the right with his head down. He's really getting into it. I don't know much about Morris dancers. I know it's an English tradition and they wear peacock feathers in their hat and bells on their legs and cover themselves with ribbons and things. And apart from that, I know nothing else about about it but it it does look um very bright and colorful and a brilliant subject for photographing and painting and i took loads of photos but this is the one that i want to paint and i'm going to work in a limited palette of basically blue and yellow i'm going to take that those colors and work almost entirely with them so very restricted palette so let's get into it <laughs> I thought I would do this one in Art Rage because uh, those ribbons are just going to look so cool in thick paint. And as I say, I want to work with a limited palette. So I'm using the roller to get on a very quick coat of yellow, put a little bit of cream top and bottom uh, just uh, to add. I, I guess basically I'm sort of putting the cream in for the uh, ground for the um, foreground and the actual ground that they're standing on and for the distant wall and then um, on the same layer all this is painted in one layer I'm not getting into using layers at all I know uh, um, there's lots of reasons why I would want to use layers but I like when I'm doing oils I do like to work with one layer so those paints can mix on the canvas I don't want to have to go in blending them after and as you can see I do a rather rough sketch just to get an idea of where the two characters are going and then I'm going in with color I said I was going to work with um, extensively yellow and blue and the second color I use is sort of a uh, russet skin tones so I thought that apart from the um, blue and yellow and everything else if I put a skin tone on the guy's head and on his hand that is really going to make him pop and he's going to it's going to draw you to look at him and not the guy that's actually in the foreground with his back to you because um it, it could be that that character in the foreground could be a real obstacle for you getting into the painting uh, because he's sort of blocking the way but I really want to use him to sort of frame the the uh, the guy with his head bending down I say uh, the guy on the left is him I, I'm not sure actually if it's a lady it could way uh, well be but you notice I am going to use the, the yellow in the background is pretty much done I don't touch it again so I, I really do mean I'm using a limited palette and um, I'm just going to let that yellow represent a really bright sunny day in actual fact it was frigging cold it was really really cold uh we didn't hang around stay for very long but uh, I, I am really glad i got to see these we got there quite late and i thought everything's going to be finished but there was um the morris dancers and there was a punch and judy for killy to uh, get upset about as well anyway back to the painting so i'm i begin with the round oil brush and i use that uh, pretty much to get the whole of the painting done because i sort of it's sort of an underpainting i didn't go straight in with the thick oils although i know i'm that's how i'm going to finish it off but i wanted to uh, get all the colors on and get them blended in with um just that oil brush so the brushes I used in this painting are the oil brush I didn't change any of the settings I didn't change the uh, amount of uh, solvents or paint or flow or anything everything's dead standard I used a blending brush um, I can't remember which blending brush it was uh, I'll put a note on the screen for that one and then I use the flat thick oil brush as well with no adjustments on it at all but initially I'm just sort of going in putting in these um, 
ribbons r randomly, uh, really. I, I do look sort of, I am looking loosely where they lie in the photo and sort of trying to get them roughly in the right place. But to be honest, at this point, I'm not really too fussed. I'm just sort of crashing in those colours, getting the uh, blues and yellows in there. I want to point out, by the way, that you'll notice, I mean, I am painting in Art Rage, but I haven't used the reference uh, photo. I've actually split the screen and put the image on uh, the left-hand side of the screen using uh, the photo app. Now, that I didn't do that deliberately because I don't like using the reference photo in Art Rage. I just totally forgot. Uh, the last few paintings I've done were in Procreate, and that's how I set it up in Procreate. But uh, Art Rage, I, I usually use the reference app, but today I just forgot and opened up the image um, by splitting the screen and continued working with it like that, really. So uh, if you've been wondering why I've not used the reference app, it's not that um, there was any sort of ulterior motive or intention about it. I It never occurred to me to use it. I just went straight in with the um, split screen option. So uh, that's that's the deal with that. The ribbons now, I am starting to think a little bit more about them and how they should go. I think at this point I have swapped over to the thick oil paint and I'm using the square brush and I'm kind of doing them in a style where I'm putting the ribbons in but I'm putting the shadows in which are almost an outline really. Uh, some of the shadows are a bit blockier but others, is, you can see on this sort of three blue ribbons down the middle of, of his uh, coat, I suppose. I've, it almost looks like an um, outline uh, around the ribbons, but they are in actual fact shadows rather than ribbons. Rather than an outline, not ribbons. So I'm, I'm kind of going in... Wanting to get colour in there, I didn't want, I was sort of really trying to avoid dark, really darks and too many greys. I wanted it to be quite vibrant. So uh, getting this sort of shadows underneath the um, ribbons, I still wanted them to be blue, which wasn't too difficult to achieve, I suppose, because if you look at the photo, they are blue, you know, there's not any dark. So I only had to look at the photo, really, for reference to that. But I also wanted um, quite nicely defined edges to the ribbons. So you'll see me, once I'm sort of like, I'm scribbling in that ribbon now, I will go in with this outline around it and try and get it in in one brush stroke if I can. Now I've gone into the... Uh, um, s blending brush. I start off with the um, with the wrong brush, and it sort of smudges it. It's the one I use for watercolor. So if you're observant, there and thought, "Whoa, that's not the blending brush you said you was going to use." Uh, it isn't because I only used it very for a short period of time, and then overpainted it, and then went in using the odd out smudge brush. I think I, I said it was. This was quite tricky, actually, these ribbons. I thought there was going to be uh, probably easier than they, they turned out to be. I'm, I was happy, really happy with the finished product, actually. You'll notice that in the background, I've left absolutely everything out. I haven't painted the uh, post office sign, the canopy, that red canopy, or any of the feet that are... Uh, sort of in between the two dancers i didn't want any distractions and i felt anything else in the painting would take away from it it wouldn't um add to the painting at all so that is why i've just d totally just included these two figures nothing else i just put the bells on his uh leg there they were they are really cool to watch these morris dancers you know they, they've got sort of 
one guy sometimes they uh, play i say guy you know it can be a lady of course play a, a squeeze box uh, this time I think the person had a stick with bells on it that there was banging on the ground and a bit of a tambourine on it or something like that uh, to make a rhythmic sound, which was uh, really quite cool. So, and the, they all really get into it. And when they smack the sticks together, um, I, you know, I, it it looks sort of really sort of friendly and nice and everything. But I imagine it could be... <laughs> You know, if you're dancing with somebody and they smack you on the knuckles with a stick, you're going to think, right, I'm having you for that one. And um, when they come round again and you hit with a stick, you smack them on the knuckles. I would definitely be doing that, especially if it was my brother. Uh, and it, it would be uh, some, then thinking, right, I'm going to smack him harder as well. We'd probably end up brawling in the middle of the street or something like that. I don't know. No, we wouldn't really because, you know, we love each other really. Uh, getting back to the painting, there was um, one thing that I've used that I didn't mention, and that is the uh, I used a tube of oil paint. I felt it wanted a little bit of sort of suggestion of movement in that background, so I just squirted in some uh, paint with the tube and then used that blending brush just to sort of smear it out and give the impression of a little bit of movement, rather like I did when I, uh, I did the owl painting a while back. In the thick oils so i'm really just refining the edges now and um touching up uh, one or two things i know that this i'm really happy with this this is pretty much finished just sort of fine tuning really uh, fine tuning sort of the edge of the app there get the signature on Because I'm happy with that. I noticed that I'd sort of got a little bit of white at the edge of the canvas there from when I uh, adjusted the positioning. But that's it. That is my painting of Morris Dancers in Art Rage on the iPad. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I've got lots of videos like this. And I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.